If you're using Matter, uh, we are like providing everything you need when it comes to the protocol stack to do the wireless communication application examples that you can reuse and, and build on top of, right? So you just use that, but then back to like this interoperability, that's like the hard part to figure out how good is it actually, right? And yes. You might not even know until you actually deploy the product in the market. Hello, IPXers. We are here with Nordic Semiconductor and Petter. Having a little fireside chat CS. Do you like it? We haven't got a fire. Anyway, let's move on. So we'd like to talk about, everybody knows about Nordic Semiconductor. We understand low power MCUs, Bluetooth, 40%, sell 2 million of them a day. Yep. What we'd like to talk about is how Nordic Semiconductor can create home automation solutions. So tell us a little bit about, first of all, just give a little bit of background about why you can do that. Firstly, because of the authenticity of the past and the and the legacy of the chip, and then how you brought that into home automation. Yeah, so smart home is uh, really important for for Nordic, and uh, well, like one of the main protocols, uh, application protocols or standards that we see that uh, is coming up now is is Matter, and you have Matter over Thread, and you have Matter over Wi-Fi, and we support all of these. Uh, and then you use also Bluetooth Low Energy for commissioning, typically, in, uh, in, uh, when using uh, Matter. Uh, and Bluetooth Low Energy is like the core of what we do and what we're known for. Uh, and that actually has to work for you to have uh, to success successfully deploy a smart home product into the yeah. market, right? Yeah. And there we have 40% market share. And a lot of uh, developers and engineers out there trust us, right, already here. Uh, and the fact is that if you want to make a smart home product and use Thread, Matter over Thread, for example, yep. using the same wireless SOC as you're using for Bluetooth Low Energy. Yes. So everything is the same, you just run a bit uh, different software, and that's the main difference. Uh, but still, having interoperability between all these other products out there, it could be uh, end product to end product, or to phones, or this. Uh, uh, Apple HomePod or uh, these yep. uh, thread gateways, right? Yep. Uh, Matter gateways. Uh, that's all still really, really important to us. Yes. Uh, so let's just let's just delve a little bit more deeply into that. Yeah. I hate it when people use the word interoperability because I can't say that word. <laughs> I don't know why. I just can't. Okay. But anyway, let's talk about that interoperability. <laughs> right. So yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a developer. I understand your your NR, uh, NR52 uh, and NR54 parts. Yeah. I understand that they're low power, they're Bluetooth, and and I know that I'll be supported if I want to uh, start developing a project that's not um, smart home. However, now I'm in smart home. I'm going into areas that I don't understand necessarily. No. This is new to me. So. You use that word. Explain how you would help them take the the platform that you've already delivered them, and then what that means when they want to start using something like Matter. Just explain how easy that is, because I'm sure you're going to tell us it's easy. That's what you're going to say, but just give them peace of mind as to how that works. Sure. So for if you're using Matter, uh, we're like providing everything you need when it comes to the protocol stack to do the wireless communication application examples that you can reuse and, and build on top of, right? So you just use that, but then back to like this interoperability, that's like the hard part to figure out how good is it actually, right? And yes. You might not even know until you actually deploy the product into the market, into the market. and then, yep. Yep. then it's a bit too late if, it, yep. if, it, if it's bad, yep. right? So, so, so explain, if it, it, explain what are the issues with interoperability Yep. Uh, that are uh, for smart homes, which are the ones that if you say like, what are the top three or four things that everybody will face when they're doing that, what would they be? So the first part is the blue low energy uh, commissioning, right? You right. want to add your uh, matter product into the existing network that you have. And then if you don't, if you're not able to establish a blue low energy connection or if you have problems, then you're not able to add the product into the network and you have a non-functional product. Essentially, and the customer will come back to you, complain, and you will get a return product and a damaged brand, obviously, right? And that's the first part. Yep. Then you're commissioning into the network, then you're using Thread or Wi-Fi. And then you also need to have interoperability with other 
products, yep. right? Not just the smartphones and the tablets and so on, but manufacturer to manufacturer. So an Eve product needs to be able to communicate to an Asabloy product or an Elko product or whatever, right? So there you need to have like the protocol stacks used there it needs to be really robust and, and proven that it works, right? Yep. And, and that's uh, what I think Nordic is doing with all these customers that we have now using Matter and, and they wouldn't have chosen us if, yeah. Yeah. if we had the bad interoperability. Yeah. yeah. So is, is, is what you're saying is in order to be able to do that, uh, talk about the customer support that you deliver because obviously when we we talked about the things as to why people trust uh, Nordic, yeah. explain what it is, the process, because what they want to be able to do is just pick and play to be able to just go in and understand it. Is it that simple? How does that work? Yeah, it's, it's basically very similar to if you have done a little low energy product uh, using the same SDK, everything is in there. Um, and then, yeah, use the same, you can use the same hardware, same antenna, same everything. And if you have problems, we have technical support that uh, will help anyone with their problems, basically. So you can trust that you right. will get help. Excellent. Right? Yeah. Good. Good. And which and which particular chip are we talking about? That is the one that you that you would that you would say is the perfect chip for uh, smart home. So so right now I would uh, it depends a bit, but I would recommend the NR54L series for like simpler smart home products using Matter over Thread. Uh, but then if you want something more advanced uh, or Matter or Wi-Fi, then you can use the NR5340, uh, which is a dual core. Uh, uh, wireless SOC that we have together with the NRF 7002 Wi-Fi companion chips. So then you need to use two chips, uh, but then you can, yeah. So we have we have different solutions depending on what the requirements are of the end product. Right. Okay. Yeah. Last question. We have it. Last question. Uh, when you're talking about smart home, the issue of trust is very important. Yeah. Security, trust. Explain what you mean by that, and explain why somebody should should come to Nordic Semiconductor. To, to, to understand that, that that trust issue with the devices themselves and with you as a manufacturer. Yeah, so I mean, this is, this is like one of the challenging things to evaluate, right? If you're yes. evaluating different suppliers. So how yes. do you do it? You, you're not finding this information in a data sheet or in a white paper, right? So you have to actually uh, either just trust, blindly trust the supplier or you can go around and ask, uh, talk about, talk to colleagues, talk to friends, talk to others, see what other uh, uh, other manufacturers have uh, deployed into the market, what are they using? And, and if you do that with Nordic, I think you will end up with uh, seeing that uh, you can actually trust trust Nordic when it comes to smart home applications. Okay, good. So, little fireside chat to CES about uh, smart homes, turn to Nordic, rich heritage in low power Bluetooth MCUs. Now you can start looking at smart home applications. For now, thank you very much. Thank you. Good.